this is a demonstration of Circuitron's uh, automatic reverse circuit AR2. The AR2 differs from the AR1 in that it allows a time delay at uh, each stopping point. Uh, I purchased Bachmann's San Francisco cable car, which uh, I will have running uh, up and down the center of my town. But because my layout is not DCC, uh, I have to control everything manually. Uh, I don't need to spend extra time uh, uh, trying to control my trolley or uh, my cable car, so uh, I've purchased the uh, Circuitron uh, AR2 to handle that for me. Uh, this is the Circuitron circuit board. As you can see, the posts are all clearly marked for the wiring. The one that says delay uh, is uh, used in connection with Circuitron's uh, uh, DT4 if you want intermittent stops between the end of your line. I'll not be doing that today. Uh, up in here you can see the, DC, the uh, AC, DC power in and out and the hookups here and the power in for the circuit board. Uh, I'll be showing you that wiring as we set up and uh, demonstrate how it works. The circuit board recognizes when the train gets to the end of the line using an opto sensor. That's O-P-T-O -O sensor. Here's one. They're made by Circuitron and other manufacturers such as Miniatronics. Um, I have a few pieces of Bachmann Easy Track here. And uh, what I've done is I've drilled a couple of holes in between the ties, run this the opto sensor through it and uh, bent the leads out so that uh, I can attach to them. We don't need to derail the train. Let's get that in right. There we go. Now the other side's off. Time for glasses. <laughs> There we are. Okay. Now the wiring is uh, quite simple. I'll take my take one lead. I'll attach it to S1. Stop point one. I'm guessing. And attach it to the lead. And then I have one for stop point two. Attach it to the other stop point. Now I have to get the power back to the circuit board. So go over to the other lead on this side. Am I on? Okay. And the lead on this side. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Now we'll run these two together. And put a lead on to take it back to the circuit board. Attach it to the post that says SD. Okay. Now uh, we'll power the, uh, power the circuit board. As you can see here, I have a simple Bachmann controller. I've attached uh, my uh, leads to the uh, constant AC uh, output. Uh, it is important to note that uh, it requires 16 volts AC to uh, run the uh, circuit board, but a maximum of 18 volts. Now, this Bachmann transformer, as you can see, I mark it that it's tested at 16. I tested that with my uh, uh, 
voltage meter here because uh, although this one tested at 16 and a half volts, my other three uh, Bachmann transformers tested at over 21 volts. Just because the transformer says 16 volts doesn't mean that that's what you're getting. So use your voltage meter and test it or you can uh, ruin your circuit board. Okay, I'll attach my leads to the plus and minus. Uh, it's also important to note that uh, the polarity of the uh, track leads and the circuit board have to match or it doesn't work. The train will run right over the opto sensors and keep going. Uh, if that should happen to you when you set it up, all you have to do is reverse the polarity on your tracks using either the controller or switching the leads on your tracks and then they'll match up and then it will work. All right, I have my leads coming, my DC leads coming from my controller and I will attach them to the in posts. my leads and attach them to the outposts. And attach those to the track. Okay. Now that the wiring is complete, we have uh, uh, two more steps to go through. The sensitivity of the opto sensors must be set for the ambient light in the room where you're going to be using uh, your AR2. That's what these two wheels do right here. One's for, uh, the, uh, for, for one point and one for the other. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my power on and I'm going to turn this wheel until the red light comes on. Once the red light is on, I'll turn it back. Uh, let me do that one more time because this wheel over here has to be turned completely counterclockwise. This is the time delay. The time delay needs to be turned off. We don't want it interfering with the uh, circuit board. Uh, while we're setting the sensitivity. All right, now we'll try it again. We'll turn this until the light comes on. When the light comes on, that is the sensitivity level. We'll set it back until the light goes off and that's as far as you need to go back. Then we'll set the other one, same way. Turn it until the light comes on and then flip it back until the light goes off. Now we can set the time delay. Uh, the time delay is the maximum of one minute and that would be turning it completely uh, clockwise, I'm going to turn it about one-eighth of a turn. That'll get me seven or eight seconds delay. All right. Now it's time to place my cable car on the track and see if I've done everything right. sure none of my alligator clips are touching and we'll turn on the power. It stops at the opto sensor when it covers it, it has its delay time and goes back, covers the other opto sensor, delays and goes back. And of course the length of the line makes no difference. Uh, that's the Circuitron AR2 automatic reverse circuit. If you follow the directions, you'll have an excellent addition to your HO layout.